All right, let's go on to microphone placement on the electric guitar amp. Now, to give you the best info, I'm simply going to show you the most common ways to mic the cabinet with a single microphone. And to demonstrate this in the most objective uh, way, with uh, in the most unbiased way, we have all of the same microphone, five Shure SM57s. Uh, one has a little bit of tape on it. Uh, maybe it was dropped or something, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's what happens when you get a scrounge together five of the same mic. And so what I've done is uh, they're all the same distance away from the cone, except for the distant mic that I have, I'll explain that. And that distance is about one finger off of the grill. And uh, you know, we could demonstrate different distances, uh, but the most dramatic change, um, you know, when placing the microphone on close on the cab is gonna be, um, uh, from inside out of the radius, so from the center of the cone out to the edge. It'll change dramatically with each microphone. Uh, and then I did place one distant microphone at the back just so we could sample that for you and you could really understand what's happening there. So the first one that we have is, uh, let's go from the outside actually. So the first uh, sample that we're going to show you, and we'll, we'll play this all back in one minute. Um, so this is the edge microphone, and so that is literally pointed at the edge of the cone. Now that is going to be, uh, there's going to be less bite, there's that again, uh, and less edge, even though it's at the edge of the cone. So just think edge and reverse what it's going to sound like. So there's more bass frequencies, frequencies, all right, sure. And, um, uh, you know, again, less top end, and then progressively you get as you get closer to the cone, it will get, uh, the, the top end will come back in and it will get more bite-y. Yeah. And so the middle, I find, is a sweet balance of both of them, the edge, uh, rumbly, low end um, uh, accentuation, and then uh, the cone center, really bright sound, the middle, position this next mic is a perfect balance of that. I usually find it depends on how much gain is going into the amp and stuff like that and what guitar part they're playing uh, or that you're playing. And then the center one, the cone of course, uh, is going to be very bright and a lot of bite. You can see with the light. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the guys are giving me the stupidest look in the control room. And, th and then we have the um, middle microphone over on the side here, and it's off axis, as we call it, uh, this one here. And so that is essentially uh, the same exact distance, the one finger, finger distance off of the grill um, of the amplifier, and it's just off axis towards the center of the cone. And what that sounds like is, um, you know, it loses, it almost sounds like it's phasey with itself, it's one microphone. Um, Usually if I do an off-axis, I'm blending it in with a different microphone, wherever the other positioning is. And, and um, usually also I'll blend in only a little bit of that off-axis off mic. I, I generally don't use it as a full feature sound a lot. Uh, but you're going you're gonna to hear how this sounds in just one second. Uh, oh, and then the distant mic. Okay, so the 57 back. Uh, this is about, uh, you know, it's about 10 inches, maybe 12 inches away from the cone. If you're doing a distant mic, what's going to happen is you're going to, um, it's going to thin out a little bit because inevitably as a directional microphone is placed uh, closer to the source, uh, it has an increase in bass frequency response called the proximity effect. And so as you move the microphone away from the cab, away from the uh, sound source, it will lose that artificial boost in uh, low end tone. So it's going to be a little bit thinner. Although it is a sort of a more developed sound, uh, so it has uh, just an extra amount of uh, brightness just from, I guess, the sound converging in a certain way away from the speaker as well. So it's an interesting tone. Usually if I'm touching that thing or if I'm putting one up in the first place, uh, that'll be for the purpose of um, uh, blending in with another full range, sure, uh, quote, full range microphone that is capturing the whole amp as, as a, uh, as a whole, uh, you know, with a lot of low end, mid, and high in it as well. So, that is all I wanted to mention for this. This is where the magic happens when we get to show you how each of these microphones sound back to back 
back to forth, side to side, and you really can very distinctly hear the difference how much uh, two inches makes um, with the uh, guitar cap placement on the with the mics. Thank you. 